guys, it's Maple Wish Stables here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on some tips and tricks on how to take Schleich photography. If this basically works with any model horse, um, so yeah, it's sort of a tutorial, sort of just fun video that I've wanted to do for quite a while, but I felt like I couldn't do it yet because I didn't have that good photography. Here are some of my favorite pieces. I really like them, and yeah, I hope you guys have photography like this, like good photography that you enjoy, but if you don't, if you want to watch this video, it would be great for sort of like a tutorial. So starting off with the stuff you need is you need some sort of camera, it can be a phone, um, any kind of camera, any, anything. Um, and you're also going to need some models or whatever you want to take a picture of. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, guys. So, next what you're going to need after you grab your camera, you're going to need your models that, you're, that you plan to take pictures of. So, today, when I go on my photo shoot, I'm going to take Bravo. Midnight. Uh, I'm also going to take... Cupid. It doesn't stand too well, but that's okay. And I'm going to take Diamond. So you're going to have to have these models um, to take pictures with. If you don't know which models you're going to choose, you're going to have to choose soon because um, you can't just go without any models. Okay, guys, on to packing. So what I like to use is... A small bag like this I have this bag that looks like a bunny and works really well because it has a bunch of different pockets for me to use okay guys so next what you're gonna need is some sort of blanket or towel um, I'm using this one just because it's quite thin but it's big so it works just great so you need this so that your models don't get scratched okay so what I like to do is I have my bag here I put some of this, put some in there. I take one of my models and I put it in there. I kind of wrap it a little bit more and I just keep doing this process. This makes it so there's plenty of nice fluffy room in between each model. And, but also so that they don't get scratched by each other or they don't get scratched by the package that you're putting them in. So what I like to do is sometimes, <clears throat> if my bag gets too full, I'll open this up. Oh geez. And then I'll just sneak a model in there. This is, I don't think you guys have something like this, but if you do, that'll be super great. This is a small enough compartment that the models won't get scratched. But if you still are feeling comfortable, you can put some cloth or something in there. And yeah. So last what you're gonna do, so you're just gonna zipper it up. And then you're ready to go wherever you need with your models. All right, everyone. Now once you reach the destination that you would like to take a couple photos at, you're just going to come back to your bag and dig through for a model. Here's one. Okay, so diamond is up first. So you might wanna have some kind of ledge like this. Right here I'm using a bridge just because I thought the background is pretty. Um, this is also a good idea so that you can really get down at the level and so that you can make it more realistic like this. You don't wanna do something too above because it just really doesn't look realistic. You wanna either do it at their level or even a little below. I really like to take the photos below because it just makes them look so much bigger and way more realistic. So yeah, I really like the background here. Some people like to zoom in on the background and leave the horse a little blurry. I don't like to do that. I just like to zoom in on the horse and really focus on the horse and that the background is a nice little component. So some of your photos may look like this. Um, I really like taking pictures of the head. Um, you could also take pictures of them looking down there like that. 
I wouldn't recommend including this because metal is not natural in the real world and if you want your horses to look natural and not small like they really are, then that's a really good thing. Don't be like that. Don't show the metal too much or whatever platform you have them on. So there's the running water and I think this would be a super good photo. Okay everyone, once you bike to a different spot or walk to a different spot, I chose this spot. Um, you're just going to choose another model. I'm going to choose Midnight here. And another tip or trick is that you really want to know what you want to include. Do you want to have the horse have some personality? If you do, maybe you can lift the horse up like this to show that its hooves are like stamping or something like that. You really, really, really don't want big things in the background. So if I'm taking a picture with a tree right here, you don't want that because horses are way not that small. They are like, they're way, they're just not that small. So if that makes sense, I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense, but it just will really look disproportionate and it won't look right if you're trying to have realistic photos. So also what you're not gonna really wanna include is um, concrete or gravel like this because this is man-made stuff and that's just like, no. Horses wouldn't usually be on this. Um, and since it's so wide, see there's a whole road here that just doesn't look good so if i were to put him here and do it like that that would be a fine photo if there was human on him because then it would look like the human is doing a trail ride on the path another really cool thing i like to include in my photos is flowers especially really small flowers another tip or trick you want to remove all sticks and leaves now i can't do that here because there's a ton of leaves but I am gonna try to remove some of them just so that it looks a lot better. So you can put the flowers in front or behind. Make sure that you have it at their level or pointed a little bit up towards them. Alright everyone, so this is the last place that I chose. This is the last model that I chose. So here you'll notice there's a lot of big plants. That isn't that good because if you put a horse next to a plant, the plant is bigger than the horse. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take a picture of the head and nobody will know that like that it's not standing anywhere because I'm not going to show the legs, I'm not going to show my hand. You really don't want to show hands because that makes it super unrealistic and not really the best photo. Um, so yeah, that basically concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Here are some of the photos that I took. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're new and you haven't already subscribed. And yeah, that's basically it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.